Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. When I first started investing, I used to save up for weeks, and by the end of the month, I would still only have around 30 40 maybe $50 to invest into the stock market that month. Now, I usually bring you guys my top high-quality stocks to invest into, but you, but you guys just don't listen to me about fractional shares and you're looking to buy whole shares. So in this video, I'm going to bring you guys my top 10 stocks that you could buy under $10 per share. So that's right, in this video, it is a 10 for 10. So get your pens and pads ready. Wait until the end of the video, cause we're gonna start from 10 and go all the way down to number one, the top stock that you could buy for just $10. So go ahead and scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future video. In fact, let's just go ahead and trick the YouTube algorithm. Everybody head down and hit that thumbs up button. So thank you for hitting that thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Now I know you guys are asking, there's so many stocks out there. How are you gonna find the top 10? So right now I'm over on Webull. All you have to do, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it yourself. And then I'm gonna bring you guys the top 10 stocks that I found. So you wanna hit the search button at the top, the magnifying glass, and then right there you wanna hit screeners. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can screen. If you don't like any in this top 10 video, you can find your own. You can hit create new screeners. Now under the screeners, there's a ton of things that you could look for that I showed you guys in previous videos. But in this one, we're just gonna look at the price and the market cap because we wanna eliminate dumb companies like penny stock companies. So we're gonna go all the way from half a billion dollars so from around right there to around all the way to forever there we go we're gonna hit done then last price let's look for anything from around um zero dollars up to eleven dollars but because it could have been under 10 um a couple of days before so let's just go ahead and hit done and there you guys you see the results there's 3499 results a lot of those are going to be um pity companies so we could actually change the market cap if we wanted to but let's just go ahead and view the results and then right here we're going to set it to market cap to filter by market cap so now we're getting rid of the penny companies being at the top we're just going to look at these top so let's we could just scroll through we see bcs we see bbva we see siri we see we see ccl carnival cruise so, so this is how i go through i have much more detailed screeners by dividends by market cap by the rsi but in this video i just want to make this quick to show you guys if you guys want to try out weeble i'm gonna leave that link down in the description you click on that, you deposit any amount of money, just one penny if you want to, and you can receive up to 10 free stocks valued up to $30,000. With those 10 free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you can sell those 10 free stocks. It's literally free money. Um, if you want to use this screener, just sign up with the link down in the description, deposit a penny, get your free money, and just use this platform for your screener. It is very awesome. Also going to leave another link in the description to Moomoo. Right now, you sign up with them, deposit $100, you can receive 13 free stocks for signing up with Moomoo. So those are the two platforms that I have been using lately to find these great, awesome stocks. So number 10 on the list, the one I'm going to bring you guys first is right here, CCL Carnival Cruise. Now, right now, at the time of the recording of this video, Carnival Cruise is at 1040 but when i was writing out the script a couple of days ago carnival was just at nine dollars and fifty cents so they do make the list hopefully when this video comes out um it will be back underneath ten dollars and forty cents so that this list could be legit but right now carnival cruise is number 10 on the list now two years ago ever since the shutdown of the entire company due to the pandemic it had reached a low point in march of 2020 and then the company had its ups and downs in anticipation that it would sell again carnival cruise revenue was around 5.8 billion dollars in the year 2022 but if we take a look at the year mark carnival is still down 55 percent a lot of these companies throughout the entire sector are down over 60 70 percent but carnival cruise is down 55 percent so if you was to invest ten dollars today in anticipation that this company could probably reach pre-pandemic prices of around $50 right here, then you could five extra money over the next couple of years or so. So that's stock number 10, Carnival Cruise. All right, so number nine, the ticket symbol I'm gonna bring you guys is ASX. Now this company gets me excited because if you was looking for companies like AMD that makes chips, Nvidia, um, Intel, this company is not that, but you can still get inside the shortage of the semiconductors, the chips that are out there because they deal with the likes of the packaging and testing the circuit. So they don't actually design any of the semiconductors. So this lower margin business does not create the big payoff but they also are not spending a lot of money on research and patenting the semiconductors. 
So if we was to click right here on Weeble, you guys can see that they do actually have a pretty sweet dividend yield of 8.13%. So this makes number nine on the list. Let's go ahead and move on to number eight to get through the rest of the list because I'm pretty sure you guys are waiting to see number one. All right, so here's number eight, AUI Yamana Go. Now AUI is a Canadian based company boasts nearly 14 million ounces of proven gold reserve and another 111 million ounces in silver. Now the reason I'm interested into gold and silver is because right now as you guys can see on inflation gold and silver hold up pretty well in fact over the last five years this company is up 65%. So right now you can buy in shares of AUI at $4.69 per share. So this is another one that I'm going to hold on as we're probably entering a recession and the market is uncertain and interest rates are so high and inflation is out the roof right now um holding on to some gold is probably a good move for me so that's number eight aui coming in at number seven is ticker symbol kos cosmo energy now you guys know you should always have at least one utility company in your portfolio and at least one energy um, company inside your portfolio if you're just starting off with ten dollars KLS might be the way to go in fact over the last year they're up 173 percent as a lot of the energy sector has performed fairly well this year now KLS is a deep water oil and gas exploration company as such anything dealing with oil and gas right now pretty much had a good year so as oil companies continue to rise KLS might be a steal to grab at six dollars and 35 cents valued under ten dollars so here we are on number six gps not the gps in your car symbol but gps actually is for a gap gap over the last year is down 57 percent but they do have a dividend yield of six percent now gap is at nine dollars and 93 cents and they were one point at a time and earlier this year before the big pullback gap was around 24 dollars and 27 cents so if you're a believer in Kanye, even though Gap and Kanye got some things going on right now, the only reason that you should be investing into Gap right now, Ticket Symbol GPS, is if you think that the hype culture behind Kanye West X Gap is going to be large enough, just like how Adidas was and just how Nike was with Kanye West. If they just let him do his thing and you think Kanye, because Gap shot up as soon as they announced the collaboration with Kanye, and as soon as they started to do things without him, even though he do have some outrageous ideas, they always work. So if they just let him do this thing, I think Gap is a steal at $10. When he does release more products with them, they're always going to sell out. Even if they're in trash bags, they're going to sell out. So Gap can easily get back to $20 and you could double your money at a purchase of $9.93 over the next couple of years if they allow Kanye West to do his thing. So that's stock number six, Gap. Here's company number five, SoFi, ticket symbol SOFI. Now, if we go to the company and we look at the profile right here, SoFi Technologies is a member-centric one-stop shop for financials services. The company operates a financial service platform. The company operates through three segments, lending, technology platform, and financial services. The lending segment includes its personal loans, student loans, and home loan products and in the related service activities. So with the growth of all of these new neighborhoods and the building of a lot of new homes, a lot, a lot more people are going to start to buy homes, even if it's in a seller's market. People are still buying homes, even if inflation is high, people are still buying homes, even if interest rates are high, people are still buying homes. So they are going to need a way to get those loans. So, so this company is on the list because you do need one of these inside of your portfolio, since this is probably the best one that you can find that's under $10. That's ticker symbol SOFI, SOFI. Coming in at number four is ticker symbol PSEC, Prospect Capital, PSEC. Now, if we take a look right here, right now, I have a couple of these inside of my portfolio because they have a sweet dividend yield of 9.57%. Prospect Capital offers private debt and provide equality to middle market companies inside the United States. The current portfolio consists of nearly 130 companies spanning 39 separate industries, providing investors with deep diversification to help smooth out any bumps in the road. If we take a look right here over the one year, PSEC is actually up 5% while the rest of the market is down, which explains them smooth out the bumps since they're investing in so inside so many different companies 
over many different sectors. So this is one if you're looking for dividend growth that's out of your portfolio that you can add to your portfolio for under $10. So number four is PSEC. The next company I'm gonna bring you guys is ADT, that's right to security for your house. ADT is mostly widely recognized for its long-standing home security brand. However, the company does more than just a alarm system these days. They also provide additional automation, safety, and smart home solutions. Currently where I live, there's a new neighborhood being put up every single month they're clearing out land every single month and there's a new neighborhood being put up with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes nine times out of ten these homes are going to be secured by adt so with the growth of so many new neighborhoods and hundreds of homes being thrown up just that i could see myself that I could see ADT performing pretty well in the far future, especially if they improve even further upon their automation system and their security and their technology. In fact, over the last year, they're also up 1.82%. While once again, you've seen companies fall 50, 55, 60, 70% over the last year, ADT is up. So this is a cool little grab at around $8.39 at the time of the recording of this video. This is another great one that you could grab under $10. Now we're on to the top two. The next one is Hood, Robin Hood, ticker symbol H-O-O-D. Now, when I was writing out the script, once again, Hood was underneath $10.60. In fact, it was around $9.60 when I was writing out the script coming up with this idea but now Robert Hood is around $10.60 hopefully when this video comes out it's back underneath $10 so this video can stay true but I do think that Robert Hood is a good grab for me under $10 if you guys can grab it under $10 that would be a pretty good deal the reason I like Robert Hood is because it is very simple to use for beginning investors Weeble you could do a lot more with Weeble, but Robinhood, they make it so simple and easy to use. That is the only thing they have going for them is that their interface, their UI is so easy to use for beginning investors. It's very easy to explain. So if you could grab them from around $10, just think around, they're gonna have more competition with other apps coming out to compete against Robinhood, but this could be a good little swing trade for the next five to eight years or so. If you could grab them at $20, sell them at around $80. That would be an awesome sale over the next couple of years. So grabbing Robin Hood under $10, not $10.60. If you could get them under $10, that'd be, that'd be a pretty sweet deal for me because I actually do like that app. It's very simple to use, very simple to explain to other people that never invested before. But for me, I like to use Weeble because it's more advanced. I get more information and it's better for me if I'm really trying to make some money. But Robin Hood is pretty good. So that's stock number two, Robin Hood. And here we are on ticker symbol number one. This is at the top stocks that you could grab under $10. This is this PAYO, Payoneer Global. Payoneer is perhaps the most aggressive name on this list of cheap stocks. Payo is a mid-sized technology solution provider that is currently running at a small loss as it invests in growth. However, it also puts 20% growth rate in the revenue both this year and next as it continues to connect with new customers. In the digital age and the rise of cashless payments, this one is not like PayPal where it's person to person. This one is more targeted towards business to business, especially for businesses internationally. So Payoneer technology is built for international payments, managing a digital business or accessing capital to open up new opportunities. Now we take a look over PAYO over the last year, they are down 33%, but as aggressively as they are reinvesting into growing their business, this might be a steal, an absolute steal at under $10 in a couple years from now, this one could be awesome. So for me, for me, this is a five to 10 year swing trade that could pay off tremendously. But long term, I'm thinking 20, 25 years down the line, I think that cryptocurrency is going to be the form of payment um, globally. So all of these person to person, business to business, that's going to be outdated by then. 25 years from now but from the next five to ten years this one could be an absolute steal at six dollars and 67 cents and there we go dreamers that is my top 10 stocks let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite if i did leave off your favorite go ahead and drop that down in the comment section i'd love to check out what ten dollar stocks you guys have been investing into if you guys made it to the end of this video you could go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me again subscribe and hit that notification bell also if you guys want to know what stocks i'm buying i'm going to leave a link down in the comments 
comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Over there, I post every single time I buy and sell stocks. I post my swing trade, my technical analysis, my option trades. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their day trades every single day. So if you want to be a part of a great community of traders that want to be financially free just like you, go ahead and check out that link down in the comment section. But that's it, guys. Make sure that you go follow me over on Instagram. My page is growing. I've been posting some good content over there. So if you don't want to miss out on updates right now, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.